Sanjad Sakati syndrome, a rare genetic disorder, encompasses a constellation of distinct features affecting various aspects of an individual's health. This presentation aims to provide an insightful overview of this syndrome, delving into its clinical manifestations, genetic basis, diagnostic procedures, management strategies, and its impact on affected individuals' lives. Sanjad Sakati syndrome, also known as hypoparathyroidism retardation dysmorphism syndrome, HRD, is an autosomal recessive disorder that manifests with a distinct combination of characteristics. These features commonly include developmental delays, intellectual disabilities, facial dysmorphism, and hypoparathyroidism, which is characterized by insufficient levels of parathyroid hormone leading to low calcium levels. The syndrome's clinical spectrum is characterized by developmental delays, with individuals often experiencing intellectual disabilities and learning challenges. Recognizable facial dysmorphism includes a prominent forehead, deep-set eyes, a beaked nose, and a small mouth. Hypoparathyroidism, a hallmark feature, results in muscle spasms, seizures, and other neuromuscular manifestations due to calcium imbalance. Sanjad Sakati syndrome is rooted in genetic mutations, particularly within the TBCE gene located on chromosome 1. This gene's role in microtubule organization impacts the functioning of diverse cell types, including neurons and endocrine cells. Mutations in the TBCE gene contribute to the syndrome's complex clinical presentation. The diagnostic journey often entails a clinical evaluation that takes into account physical characteristics, developmental milestones, and neuromuscular symptoms. Genetic testing to identify mutations in the TBCE gene is a key component of definitive diagnosis. Additionally, laboratory tests measuring calcium, phosphate, and parathyroid hormone levels confirm the presence of hypoparathyroidism. Central to the management of Sanjad Sakati syndrome is addressing the challenges associated with hypoparathyroidism. This involves maintaining appropriate calcium and vitamin D levels through supplements and medications. Developmental support, such as early intervention programs, speech therapy, and special education, can aid in mitigating developmental delays. Symptomatic care for seizures, muscle spasms, and other neuromuscular issues further contributes to comprehensive management. The severity of Sanjad Sakati syndrome varies widely among individuals, with challenges spanning from intellectual disabilities to developmental delays. Ongoing medical management requires dedicated attention. Prognosis hinges on the extent of these challenges, but with proper care and support, many individuals with the syndrome can lead fulfilling lives. Ongoing research endeavors focus on deepening our understanding of the molecular mechanisms underpinning Sanjad Sakati syndrome. Advancements in genetic therapies and treatments offer hope for improved symptom management and enhanced quality of life for affected individuals. Promoting awareness about Sanjad Sakati syndrome plays a pivotal role in facilitating early diagnosis and appropriate care. Support groups and organizations provide valuable resources and a sense of community for both affected individuals and their families, fostering a network of understanding and assistance. Sanjad Sakati syndrome, though rare, presents a multifaceted set of challenges that encompass developmental delays, intellectual disabilities, facial dysmorphism, and hypoparathyroidism. Timely diagnosis, multidisciplinary care, and ongoing support are essential components for enhancing affected individuals' well-being. The medical community's collaborative efforts, coupled with continued research, hold promise for advancing our comprehension of the syndrome and refining its management strategies. Thank you for your attention. We now invite any questions or discussions you may have regarding Sanjad Sakati syndrome. Please comment here or visit bizarrebiblio.com.